Hey, Noble Draggers, it's Jack here with Sergeant Survival. And today we are going to be looking at a, a couple of water filtration scrolls. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is made by my life stroll. And the second one doesn't really say the maker on there. It just says water filtration stroll. So give me a look at that. We'll take it out of the package here in a minute. It says water filtration stroll. Um, the first thing to really look at when we take water filtration strolls in, into mind is... Uh, what, what is it filtering against? Because each one of these I looked at, I, I looked at several different uh, water filtration strolls, water filtration devices. All of them are good for a different amount of liters of water. Um, they all pretty well say 99.99% when it comes to filtering things, but some of them, if you read in the fine print, there's different things it doesn't filter against. Um, like if we take this this live straw into mine right now, I'm just going to... If you look at there, there's a life straw. I'm going to read some off the package here. It says removes 99.99% of bacteria. Examples are E. coli and ETC. Removes 99.99% of protozoa, such as Giardia and Cryptosporidium. Filters 4,000 liters or 1,000 gallons, and it meets the U.S. drinking water standards for the EPA. Um, Something it doesn't tell you on there is these don't filter against heavy metals and there's some viruses that it doesn't it doesn't protect against. So that's just something to keep in mind. Make sure when you're doing any life straw or filtration device, you read the pros and cons about it. Um, and as I said before, each one you get is going to be different for the amount of liters that it's good for. So that one, as I said, it said it filters for... 4,000 liters or 1,000 gallons. The next one, it just says water filtration straw. That's it. Doesn't have as much information on it. Uh, the only thing it says on this one is prevent or kills 99.99% of bacteria and viruses in the water to prevent waterborne diseases, giving the treated water a good clean taste. Well, first off, if I'm using a filtration straw, I'm not drinking treated water, but maybe they're just not very good with the wording on their packaging. Um, if you look at the beginning of the video, you see a couple photos in there. Uh, the water samples I have here that we're going to try, as well as where the water came from. That way you guys know I didn't just go outside and pour some from an outside, outside spigot or a faucet or something like that. So the first one is this right here. As you notice, there's quite a bit of moss inside of it. Um, I wanted to prove a point and see if we couldn't get it plugged up a little bit to show how to get the uh, straw unplugged if it was to get plugged. And then for both of them, I have some regular Culligan water here that actually came out of one of the uh, Culligan water dispensers we have here at our house. All right, we're going to take a closer look. Again, first one we're going to look at is the life straw. If you look at the top, you have a cap up on the top to protect the mouthpiece. Pull that off. You have a cap on the bottom. It's going to be hard to show you this, but if you look at the bottom, there is a plastic honeycomb at the bottom and the filters inside there. It's got a lanyard on it in case you want to wear it around your neck. I don't like having things around my neck. I don't even wear necklaces, so uh, it would go back in my bag. So looking at this, this life straw, it says that uh, it might take you a few seconds to draw water through. It's not an immediate thing. You just suck on it one time and automatically draw water up through it, but... It's going to take you a couple times drawing through the straw um, the first time to get water to come through it. Then after that, after there's already water in the straw, it might be a little bit quicker. Um, if, if it was to get plugged up while you're drinking from the straw, then you, you simply blow back into the straw to try to get the obstruction to blow free and then try redrawing water through it. Uh, once you've reached your, your limit for how much water it's supposed to filter, uh, you're not going to be able to draw any water through it, period. And... You can test that by blowing back through the straw a couple times and try to redraw water through there. And once it's reached its capacity, it's not going to let you draw water back through it. Uh, important thing to remember is once you're done using this, make sure you blow back through the straw and get as much of the water out as you can. Because if it's cold outside or something like that and you don't get all the water out of here, it could freeze and it could actually crack the life straw itself and damage the filter in the inside from expansion. So just remember once you're done, um, with the life straw to blow back through the uh, life straw and try to get as much water out as you can. The first thing I'm going to test it against is uh, just regular already filtered bottled water. 
they I've seen a lot of people in there and they're like, oh, there's no, you can't tell the difference in the taste of the water. I'll be the judge of that because I hear that all the time. And uh, with how compact the filtering system is in this, I have a feeling you're going to be able to taste a, a difference anyway. So just taking a, a regular drink of the water tastes like good bottled, clean, collagen water. Not really a super noticeable flavor in it. Now we're going to go ahead and try the live straw. See it's dripping back out now from right through there. Maybe about two or three straws to get water through it the first time. It's got a little bit of a flavor to it that I can taste uh, with the filtration devices in the inside. Uh, don't know what all they have in the filter in the inside. I'd have to look. Not really going to go into that. We just really wanted to see how it worked and uh, show some of you out there. Ran me about 20 bucks, I think. Truthfully, I'd have to get on Amazon. I'll include the description and the link so you can see how much it costs. And uh, if you'd like to get one yourself, you can get hop on there and grab one. Great for hiking and stuff. If you don't want to carry a bunch of bottled water with you and you know there's going to be a, uh, a water source nearby. Now to clear the straw out so I'm not leaking water everywhere. I blow back through the straw. If you notice, there's no water coming out anymore. A couple dripping off, a little bit dripping off the cat. Now, now comes the fun part. Now, uh, my wife said, get some dirty water. You better try it with some dirty water, so... Here we go. This is this nasty green mossy stuff here. Put it in there. Not bad. I mean, for the most part, it tastes just like the color good water. Drink a little bit more so you can see the, it, the uh, level went down here. First, I'll show you the level. So you see where it's at now. I didn't draw very much through the first time, so I'll see if I can draw some more through this time. All right, as you can see, brought it down a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, works really well, actually. Kind of surprised. Life straw. I actually. Really, it gives it a little bit of a flavor, but nothing is intolerable. It tastes like some of your off brands of uh, bottled water. Definitely would would take this with me and use this. Saves a lot of weight. Um, this is depending on how many liters you get it for. It's supposed to be good for three years for one person. So if you have these, that's what it's supposed to be good for three years for one person. When I read online about it, anyway. Uh, that really, that's really going to depend on how much water you drink through the straw, though. I mean, they can't tell you, hey, this is good for everyone for three years, because that's probably not going to be the case. It really depends on how much water you drink as an individual and things like things like that. But uh, overall, not, not bad life straw. Um, fairly inexpensive. Definitely a great thing to have in your pack with you. Who knows what situation you get in. Maybe you're hiking, you run out of bottled water. Keep yourself from dehydrating. There's a water source nearby. Bam, you got it. And very lightweight, so it's not really going to add much to your pack. Um, the next one we're going to look at, like I said, it, it doesn't say live straw or anything on it. It simply says water purification or water filtration straw. So, uh, and it, it, this thing came with a, uh, a another attachment for it, so you can attach it to the bottom, but it's a uh, straw. And if you look at the bottom here, I'm actually going to use this and I'm going to place it on there and place it in the water. You're supposed to be able to screw this onto uh, bottles as well. So if you have it in there, you can screw it on the bottle. Um, just like the last one, landed on the top of it, covering for the mouthpiece. The the bottom, you can't really see the honeycomb in this one. You just kind of see where the uh, straw attaches to it. Just like that. All right, flex straw. So I guess if you put a bunch of nasty water in a bottle of water, you can just Put this in there and screw it on the cap and drink it through that. Um, save yourself a little bit of time. But we're going to go ahead and we're gonna test it out with, with the, the straw on there. And then I'm going to see if I can dunk it down in there and still draw water through it. All right. Takes a little bit more to draw through this straw than I did the other one. Blow some of that water out of there real quick, and we're going to go ahead and take this part off and see if we can just draw it through here. Um, 
this is kind of kind of nice though. So if I wanted to attach it to a bottle, it, this has actually got a screw on ring on it, so that you can. Um, now I'll move it over. I'm gonna try it without it on there. Works just the same. A little bit harder to draw through this one than it was with the life straw. The life straw was a little bit easier to draw water through it, but uh, still not really a big deal. If I'm if I'm dehydrated and I, I need water and I don't have any bottled water on me, it's not going to matter to me whether it's a life straw or it's this uh, this off brand water filtration straw. Um, in in the description at the bottom, I'll include a link to it. It might have the actual manufacturer's name on there and things like that. So. Uh, we're gonna move on to a dirty one. This one hasn't been opened yet. This is the second water source I grabbed down there. As you can see, just like the first one, a lot of nasty green moss in it. We're gonna look at the water level. You can't really see because it's filled up pretty well to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cap off this one as well. And we're gonna see if we can't draw some of this nasty mossy water through it. One second here. As before, this time I'm gonna try it with the uh, with the actual straw attached to the filtration straw itself. Let some of the drain back out. As you see, I drag it down a little bit. Now I'm going to take the uh, the white straw off the bottom and stick it down there and see if we can draw some more through it. Um, just like the life straw, there's a little bit of flavor to it, but not really a whole lot. Nothing that's unbearable. Definitely uh, both of them so far worth my money. Um, the life straw, like I said, this one's supposed to be good for, the life straw is supposed to be good for 4,000 liters. This one, however, is supposed to be good for... 2,000 liters. So this one, like I said, it's a little bit cheaper than the live straw, but then again, it only has half the capacity for filtering that the live straw did. Live straw 4,000, off brand 2,000. So this one's going to last me a little bit less time. Um, the weights are about exactly the same. I'm not going to throw them on a scale. They don't wait up to even worry about it. So uh, took the straw off, drank some of the water down. We're going to just stick it in there and try to drink some. Suck some moss up into it, plug it up, so we have to blow it back out. Okay, <laughs> got it back out finally. Um, you can see it's not in there anymore, so. I'm not going to sit there and drink the whole thing today because I'm not going to waste the life of the life straw. Um, definitely going to keep both these and they're both going to go in my pack. So, was it worth it? Absolutely. Anything I can take, it's going to save me some weight. So, I'm not maybe maybe now I'm not carrying four gallons of water with me. Maybe I'm carrying five liters with me and then I have these life straws with me. That way, once I run out of my five liters, I can filter some more. Definitely worth it. Lightweight going to easily fit in my pack with everything else and uh, will keep you from getting sick. Uh, you can always boil water to get the bacteria out of it and things. Um, use iodine tablets. There's several different methods that you can use to purify your water. <clears throat> uh, this is just, these straws, like I said, definitely just an alternative. Um, a lot of people use iodine tablets. A lot of people boil it, use iodine tablets, use life straw. That way they're making sure they're not getting sick at all. But me, it's a little overkill. If I was going to cook and I needed a large quantity of water, probably just going to boil it and uh, kill some of the bacteria. But thank you all for watching. Again, if you look in the description, I will include the length of both of these straws. And thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful weekend.